Well, tonight, Houston police are investigating after a man was shot and killed during a welfare check on the city's east side. It happened around 1.30 this afternoon on Roos Street and Brownsville Street. KPRC 2's Candace Burns has much more tonight on what police are saying about this investigation. Houston police say it's not clear if the man suffered from a mental health condition, but they say he was out of control when they arrived for the welfare check, and they say he made threats and reached for something before he was shot and killed. A heavy police presence on Rouse Street near the Greater Fifth Ward on Houston's east side. This after investigators say a 46 year old man was shot during a welfare check by two HPD officers around 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Police say they were called to the home by the man's brother and when they arrived, he was behaving erratically. They met him front at the door and, and spent a lot of time trying to, um, and I know that's relative a lot, but I mean several minutes trying to de-escalate. Uh, but he was um, resistant to all of that and combative. Executive Assistant Chief Larry Saddlewright says the officers continued working to get the situation under control and at one point used a taser, but it didn't work. The male was unaffected by the taser darts, uh, pulling them out or moving and then moved in further in towards the kitchen. Investigators say the man made threats to get his gun and shoot them. While in the kitchen, police say he reached for something and one of the officers fired his gun. Investigators say the officers tried to assist the man, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. They have not said whether they found a weapon in his possession. Again, I just want to caution. It's preliminary. More information will, will follow. Um, I'm sharing what we know now. Police have not released the man's identity. We're told the two officers involved in this case have been put on administrative leave, which we're told is protocol in situations like this. The shooting is still under investigation. Reporting in East Houston, Candace Burns, KPRC2 News.